spirit that's attached to one of these dolls, would you like to say something? Any spirits that are in the house right now with us? Let me see, there's a cat wall again. The other thing's not lighting up. So we haven't done the one of these in quite a while, but we are going to be doing a haunted adventure here at the Inspiration House in Oberlin, Ohio. Yep. So we're just going to be kind of walking around, giving a little tour, and um, this is owned by Michelle Bellinger yeah, and popular. her wife. Mm -hmm. um, you might know her from uh, most popularly uh, Paranormal State. Uh, she's yep. also been on quite a few of the Travel Channel shows or Discovery Plus or whatever you watch. Um, she's been on quite a few of those. She's a psychic medium. Um, but this is her Airbnb. They rent it out to people to investigate and stay over for the weekend and stuff like that. And that's what we're doing. We're here with some friends. And yeah, so we're just going to kind of give a little daytime tour of the place. It's a pretty cute place. Now, we did just rent this on Airbnb, so I yes. think anyone can rent this. So it's kind of cool because um, it's one of the few haunted places that um, is actually nice inside. Yes. It's not like disgusting and like <laughs> like most historic haunted places are. But yeah, it's a fairly sizable home. But yeah, we'll go ahead and go. This is one of the living rooms. And then it goes over there as well. That's where some of the people that are investigating with us are kind of sitting there talking right now. Oh yeah, this is cool. This is like just a little guest book. And if I remember right from something else I saw, there's like dream books in the bedrooms, isn't there? Yes, they actually encourage you to, tr there's a lot of different like pieces of paper and books and stuff for yeah. you to encourage your psychic abilities and to like have things happen. So I guess one of the things is that the resident spirits like to visit people in their dreams. So they actually encourage you yes. to write your dreams in the dream journal if you have something that happens here. Um, so each room has a dream journal. We'll show you that once we get into one of the rooms yeah. and stuff. So let's go over here. So I don't know exactly what this room is, but there's this like really cool giant it's, dollhouse. Yeah, it's their collection of um, haunted items. Um, there's some stuff like from uh, Paranormal State in here. Um, just random little um, ghost hunting tools, stuff like that. This is actually an antique um, yeah. dollhouse that belongs to Illyria. Um, and that's her wife, right? Yes. Michelle's wife. Yeah. yeah. And it's actually hardwired. It actually has lights inside. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Huh. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, and then there's a lot of, um, looks like there's tarot cards and stuff, which I believe you can use. Yes. Because um, a lot of things in this room are to be used. Like, there is a bunch of um, stuff over here. This is an Ouija board that I believe Michelle made herself. You have a planchette. Um, there's some different pendulums and, again, dowsing rods. So all of this stuff can actually be used. Yes. Um, so if you don't have, like, any ghost hunting equipment at all, you can use this stuff. Um, I think that's all. Because in another video, I saw them having, like, other things you could use, like actual electronic equipment. But who knows? People might have damaged it. So creepy dolls, and I believe one of the dolls in this room is supposed to be haunted, from what I remember reading on the website, right? Yes, yeah, so they are actually have a little label over here that says Haunted Doll Key. Oh, okay. And they have a little tag on them, and it'll say whether or not they're haunted, if you know. Oh. Of course, the little clown has an H, which means it's haunted. That's cool. Um, so I'm assuming uh, there's a little H on this one as yeah. well. So that's how you know if the objects, I'm assuming most of the objects in this room yeah. are probably haunted. Um, this is kind of neat. This is actually it's a pendulum. Weird. And it, if you notice, it is actually moving. Um, it's in a steel, or it's in this little case yeah. so that it's not interfered with any kind of like human interaction and stuff yeah so the spirits can actually use it and okay without any human interference well that's pretty cool yeah um and something that's kind of cool this is actually from paranormal state this is a mask yeah. that um michelle used oh yeah i've seen when she did her walkthrough yeah. so, you know she's more famous doing that she walks through a place and she won't she they guide her through there blindly so she's yeah. not um influenced by anything she sees We'll go over to this room here, which is like the dining room. And I also believe like this is where like Michelle, would you like to say on rooms? Now this, Kim, gets, Kim and um, Brian have, have like bad vibes. Yeah. Um, or not even bad vibes, but like a feeling. So this is a this was the seance room. They do hold seances here. 
Um, actually, when Michelle and Elyria got hold of the house, this room had a ton of um, selenite and other crystals throughout the room. Like, each corner had a piece of selenite. Yeah. And there were a bunch of crystals all over the place. The previous owners left in a hurry, and actually some of their personal belongings, including a scrapbook that we just found this morning, was left behind. And we think, yeah, that might be so they like just kind of left songs. in a yeah. hurry. Um, yeah, when I walk through this threshold right here where the kitchen is, I just get like a very strong, heavy feeling yeah. when I walk in here. Um, it's just, it's really weird. It's almost like I'm walking through a cloud of like psychic Well, energy. weirdly enough, when you, I mean, I'm just asking, when you enter from like that door, does it feel the same? No. I wonder why. No. I almost wonder because sometimes that stuff can happen from like wiring as well. Because when I first walked through, I don't think I felt like paranormal, but I will say it almost felt like sinus pressure or something. Yeah. Like kind of was coincidence. And I don't think there's any, I don't know if there's any hauntings in the kitchen, but just an idea since this is an Airbnb, like this place is meant to obviously be stayed at, it's a pretty nice, like homey yes. feeling place. Um, and again, it's not huge. There's basically just the rooms upstairs, which you're going to go up to next because it's very interestingly designed up there. So we think it used to be like apartment buildings. So I think we're gonna head upstairs and we'll talk about that. All right, so now we're upstairs. Um, so we have this room over here. And this is where I think, I think this is where, or whose room is this? I don't know, whose room um, is Brian's this? Brian's staying in okay, this Okay, so Brian's staying in this one. This is known as the lilac room. Which you can see why. I don't know if we'll be doing any ghost hunting in the actual bedrooms, not sure if there's is there any reports particularly um, the bedrooms? Well, I think the residents just kind of walk around. Watch your step right there. It's really loud. Yeah. I think they kind of come and go wherever they want. And this is, which room is this? The tiny twin. It's a, it's a tiny little room. I'll probably be sleeping here tonight. So it's a tiny little cozy room. And then this is where you're staying. Yes, this is the restful king room. Have the giant bed. Yes, it is quite. My God, it is a big bed. So where's the dream? Oh, is this the dream journal? Yes. So every yeah, room look at this. has a dream journal. Oh yeah, that's. I saw mine was like against the wall. Yeah. So it asks you to record your dreams. Um, this one is actually from Michelle. It says, "When I dream here, it is always a gathering of people." Um, woke up to a man standing at the window. He moved the curtain a little to one side and just stood there looking out. I wasn't afraid. I thought it was I was awake, but it could have been a dream. Yeah, so that's interesting. So where would you like, if you had a dream, where would you write it in here? I think you would just write it on a piece of paper and then slide it in here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure if they provide it. Unless but... they have like a pen or something somewhere. Yeah. I would assume. Maybe. Which is kind of interesting. This is just like the closet here basically with... Okay, yeah. Just yeah, like your closet. Yeah, a closet. And now we're going to get to what I was talking about, which I feel like is... This is so weird how this is designed. So you have this bathroom here. Where's the light for this? Okay. So, I mean, as you can see, it's an older bathroom. There's a tub. Also, this place has all the candles. Yes, there are quite a few candles in this place. But um, the only way to get to... And this is the library. Um, and I think the library, I think it has a super cool vibe up here. Um, but yeah, the only way to get to it is through that bathroom. Yes. And then directly after that bathroom is this bathroom. Yes. <laughs> so that's so, strange. What we're thinking is that maybe this part here was like a how like a, an apartment. It even has like a little lock. Yeah. So I'm wondering if maybe it was like some sort of apartment by itself. Yeah. At one point, because like yeah, they have their own restroom. They have like their own living room, which is the library, and then of course they have their own. Um, yeah, and this is like I'm assuming the master bedroom because this is a big space. Yeah, this has a nice big bed here, and then it has a little kitchenette as well. This is a very cute room, and then this is like the kitchen, like a, a little upstairs kitchen, like wet bar kind of situation. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. And then, yeah, this is just like a little sitting room. And then there is, if you choose to go out onto it, there's like a 
deck out here that you can sit on and just kind of look out. Um, so that's kind of cute. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, that's, that's basically the house. So again, not real big, but yeah. Can you say your name for us, please? I didn't quite hear that. Was that Elizabeth? Can you get closer to that REM pod? Can you make one of the other lights light up? Sure, just lit up. What the ghost? Yeah, because she saw. I saw the core of my eye, and I turned. Could you light up the ghost again for me? It does. It does with shadow. Okay, just little thing, or just wave your hand around it. Don't worry. The other thing I turned off, so it's not going to make that annoying noise anymore. Tell me when I get to the number of how many other spirits are in here, okay? Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. There's six other people in here with you? Are there six other spirits here besides us? over there. I okay. saw something. What'd you see? Like I, a hand? Or like like a, I don't know. It was dark and it just, it went so fast. So what, can you tell me, I'm curious, about, did you see it 
high, low. low. Go down by the wood. So like down here? Yeah, yes. So, and I couldn't tell if it was Kim's hair when I looked when I was sitting when I was sitting crisscross applesauce on this. I did look over and I thought I saw the core of my eye, but it was up here. <clears throat> Something right here, like black. And I'm like, I don't know if it's just Kim's hair or not. But yeah, I saw it up, but Kim, you saw it you like right were, around the edge. You guys were over there when I saw it. Interesting. So what did you, you guys thought you heard like giggling over there or what? Talking. 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 Yeah. Like talking. the female talking. Like the but... female voice. Okay. Lots of New little cat ball. Oh yeah, I don't actually think we've um, on camera shown. So yeah, this was something that we picked up that uh, the paranormal thing. It's basically like the cat balls, except, you know, it um, detects that plus it detects shadow. And then this is just an EMF reader, but it's a lantern form. So we can see it like 360. There's a couple of new little things that I don't think we've used. Yeah. So as we said earlier, Michelle has her own like Ouija board. And I think it actually says she made it in 99. So she's had it for a while. And we're going to do our first ever little seance on the channel. I'm going to be filming it the first. So who's all taking part? Brian? And then you are? And then Kim? Okay. So I would say kind of, yes, yeah, so you'll kind of have to be on the corners. And then just everyone get to the point where they can comfortably kind of reach it. And of course we have our candles and we'll shut the lights out and make it all spooky in here. Maybe since there's numerous of us, you're just gonna put like a couple fingers on it in like a corner or around the planchette. And you're just barely gonna touch it. You basically just wanna like guide it. And you're gonna use the energy. Is there anybody here with us right now that wants to talk? We've seen a lot of um, the lights flickering for our different devices around here. Is that you? Okay. What is it on? Unknown. What is it on? Unknown. Unknown. you not how would you not know is it somebody that's not normally in the house okay you went to unknown again and are you guys moving back now yeah can I have something sure ask away are you normally in the house? It seemed like we were talking to Sarah earlier. Are you here with us now, Sarah? Can you communicate through the board? How about Elizabeth? Are you here with us right now? Is there a male spirit with us right now? Do you not want to talk with this? Something flashed down here. So we do have the um, paranormal trip wires across the floor, which is just a bunch of EMFs. We were playing games earlier and they kept flashing and then that thing kept going off to our little. I think that was another firework. Because, of course, it's 4th of July weekend. Yeah. Oh, dear. 
house. How many, how many spirits are here in this house? Hmm. Well, we're down toward the numbers, but what are we? We're on reset. <laughs> reset? Yeah. Well, what? Well, I know because well, earlier we were getting Three. seven, which where are, well, I don't even know. I can't really see where we are, but yeah. I mean, seven is like kind of there. You think we could use a different teaching board? Like maybe this one... Is there seven? It's at where yes it is. Yes. Yeah. How many are in here with us right now? Who how many are we talking to? So I will say this is really weird. Like, it's so like I'm curious. Like, are you guys like? How are we all like holding on to this thing? I just have my fingers on it because like I am basically not it. even on it. Like, there's technically like contact, but like. Yeah, that's all I'm doing. What are we? Seven. All of them. So. Okay. Do you like us using this spirit board to talk to you? Oh, sorry. When I moved, I did pull back a little bit. This is a very awkward position. <laughs> it is. It's like... Maybe. Yeah. Can we go to maybe? Yeah. It's not sure, is it? I'll actually just let you guys. That's why it's giving someone the nose. Well, that was me. this session I'm saying goodbye we're closing this board fireworks yeah yes yeah, sure. okay. so we're, okay. we're closing this okay. portal like at this down. time you can communicate any other way right now but nothing else can come can through this that off? sure just so we don't have any so me and Kim are in the library we just got done doing our little seance it's kind of interesting there wasn't uh, it was kind of moving, but I don't know. Was it really? Yeah, it, it was strange. I don't know if that was actually, like, spirits or... I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to say. We're going to do more down there now, but we decided to move this room right now. It's just me and Kim. So we have a little light on that stool there. If you get close to it, it should light up. And there's also a little circle that if you touch it, um, you can make that light up as well. How many of these books are like metaphysical books? And it's like the giant one up there that just says ghosts. Yeah. Well, that that's all like hauntings and stuff because there's like quite a few like Haunted Heartland. There's one about Lilydale. Villisca Axe Murder House. Uh, ghosts and Spirits. One called Box of Lies. The Book of Lies. In Search of Ghosts, mm -hmm. Witch Hunts. If there's someone here with us right now, can you please do something to make your presence known? He said we have our equipment, but I mean anything. Moving a book, opening one of the doors, or closing one of the doors, I guess in this case.
All right, so now we're going to do the whole Estes method thing, where basically Brian here is going to put um, his blindfold on and put the noise canceling headphones on. And we're going to be asking questions, and the headphones are connected to um, a ghost box. And he just is going to say anything that he thinks that he might hear that's intelligible. Um, you'll probably have to start the box for him. Any spirits that are in the house right now with us, can you talk to Brian through that box and answer our questions for us? Can you give us a yes or no? Oh. Oh. So yeah, this cat ball keeps going off while we were in there doing the um, Estes method. We're here. Maybe, maybe we do it in this room then. If there's something there, you want to sit in this chair? Okay. Yeah. So okay. tell Brian to come in here and we'll shut these lights off. All right. So since there was cat ball activity, <laughs> <laughs> um, that's, the cat ball's not in view, but it's bright enough um, that it will see it against the wall. Okay. Oh, you're not going to use the blindfold? No, I usually just close my eyes. It helps me concentrate a little All bit right. easier. Now, when we ask her questions, same thing. We want to not speak real loud or else she'll be able to hear us. All right, so we moved over here because while we were in the other room, something, someone, kept on lighting up the little device we have over there. Was that you? Can you light that up again for us? Goodbye. Where are you going? He did it. Was it something bad they did? Look. Where would you like me to look? What is this place to you? Was it your home? David. David? To the cat ball. That's right on the other side of the wall. Can you light up again? David, are you here now? Okay, yeah. You can see it lighting up the beam up Did there. Did you just walk up here? <laughs> it's the cat. Something's over there. The cat ball keeps lighting up. Well, something literally just went oh, like it, well, it's probably Oh, well, it's probably because I looked. I did this. Oh, okay. See the, the cat it's ball. literally like all of a sudden. The cat ball is continuing to go. I'm going to walk over move. there. Yeah, maybe. I'll need to move this. Actually, if I sit where you are, can I see the cat ball? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, but the, I think you saw me doing this probably, Kim. Okay. Putting a shadow over He was moving the. Because I was trying to get the reflection of the cat ball from the berm. What? We were hearing a little bit of... You're hearing how many? Whimpering, kind of, you know, over Again. Again. Yeah, it's the one over there that keeps lighting up. Yeah, like that right there. You said your name is David. Are you the one that's lighting up the, the cat ball? Do you enjoy lighting it up? Don't freak out. I'm walking in front of you. <laughs> I'm putting this over with the cap ball to see if they both light up. There's a voice that, like, I can just barely hear, like a really low, like a... deep male voice. <laughs> and he's just barely talking. And I can't understand what he's saying. It's just like a little... It's like just... a little... It's just so well, they quiet. Keep, they said they thought they were hearing humming. And you see, there's a cat ball again. The other thing's not lighting up, though. Hmm. I wonder what would be coming. Okay. I'd set up the rope. The rope lights it up again. I don't know if you saw it or not. I was zoomed in there, so I don't think I caught it. But yeah, the ropes. 
I don't know if I'm going to do it. Okay, I definitely caught it that time. I don't know if the lantern went up. I'll have to watch that back. Yeah, it almost seems like... Um, almost like things are like moving around or something too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it definitely... And not necessarily that it's moving away from us, but there's just like constant movement of where things are because that cap on now hasn't lit up for quite a while. And it yeah. was lighting up pretty consistently even with us here and now it's not. And then before we started that, behind us, it was like we were kind of like hearing things. Mm -hmm. um, one other thing I will note, um, and it could have been my eyes playing tricks on me, when I was sitting like over in the couch filming you and I couldn't see the cat ball, on the curtain, not like through the curtain because I could see car lights, I kept thinking I saw like, um, I don't even know how to describe it, almost like shimmering glitter in the air, which is really weird. Almost like a little itty Itty bitty tiny light. Okay, that means something was trying to manifest. I don't know, because I saw it. Like, I saw that at Madison before. Because I saw it, yeah, um, like I said, and it was like, let me zoom in as like, much as I can. It was like right in that area is where I saw it. I hope those just lit up again. Um, and yeah, I saw it a couple times, and then I looked at it and actually like saw it directly with my eyes. Yeah. And then I like, really never saw it again, so. Yeah, one I mean, time I when I was at Madison... Uh, I don't even remember what time that was. I know, I think it was with like Tina and a few other people. I saw what, it looked like a humanoid shape, but it was all this like shimmery glitter thing. Yeah. And I guess and it wasn't, it was just like a little spot, but yeah, maybe because it was when I couldn't hear what was being said, but I could hear like something besides static in the headphones because it was so loud and like you yeah. were saying things like, I think that was close to when you were saying David, um... I just didn't talk about it at the time. You heard that? You heard that? You heard that? Okay, so now we're in, I don't know, what do you want to call this room? I have the room with the dollhouse and, well, and the dolls. Yeah, I've been calling it like the artifact room, I guess. Yeah, because there's a lot of things in here. Um, if there's anything that would like to speak with us here, any one, any person. Um, oh, Kim has a cap over there. Um, we have these couple devices you can get close to and touch them. They'll light up pretty colors. Um, yeah, and you can just speak to us, whatever you'd like. Um, can you make a noise to let us know that you're here or move something? Can you make that candle go out? It'd be really cool if you could. I'd be super impressed. Or make the pendulum move. That would be cool too. You see that some of these dolls here are supposed to be haunted. If you are a spirit that's attached to one of these dolls, would you like to say something? Maybe move the doll that you're attached to? What's your favorite artifact in this room? There's a lot of cool things. We'll do the classical shave and a haircut. Finish this if you know it. Warning ghost cat on duty. Yeah. What's the story with this dollhouse? It's um actually it's Illyria's. Um here, I'll read the little thing here for you. It says, um, this is the dollhouse of Vera Cooper Rubin, world-renowned astronomer. Widely known as the discoverer of dark matter, she was awarded the National Medal of Science for her outstanding contributions to our understanding of the universe. 
Long before Vera's path led her to revolutionize how we think about our world, her father, Philip Cooper, an electrical engineer for GE, built this dollhouse for Vera and her sister Ruth. Constructed in 1933 during the Great Depression, Philip painstakingly wired the whole house so his daughters could always play in the light. Hmm. And then there's another plaque over here. The dollhouse. That says, This is the dollhouse of Vera Cooper Rubin, world renowned astronomer, lovingly known as the mother of dark matter. It is maintained by her grandchild, Illyria Little. There's one thing I found over the years about ghost hunting is that it is inconsistent. Yes. Things can be going much. crazy, and all of a sudden just nothing happens at all for hours or the rest of the evening. It's, yeah. And it also seems like they're always camera shy. When you're not rolling, it always seems to be when something cool happens. <laughs> it's like, ugh. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you, you gave us some sort of that. response. We appreciate it. So yeah, we just woke up. I kind of forgot to say that we were going to bed and stuff. Um, unfortunately, I asked everyone else, neither me or Kim had any, like, dreams or anything like that. Yeah. I would say it's probably, I mean, it was, it's a fun place. I would say it's worth, worth staying here. Yeah. Just because, like, the, the neighborhood's really cool. The house is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's a really beautiful brick home. Um. And there's some really cool shops here as well. We went to um, a really odd shop oh, yeah. in downtown called um, Ratsy's, which was just like the most eclectic, strange store. I loved it. Um, if my I, I said that if my aunt was still around, because she was very eclectic and stuff like that, this would be her store. Yeah. That it was just her, like, written all over it, like... Um, one of the things I bought was a bag that said, um, mystery teeth, yeah. bag of mystery teeth. Yeah. And it quite literally was a, um, dental mo yeah. mold yeah. of somebody's teeth. <laughs> yeah. A lot of weird things. Um, there was emotional support limbs. Yes. There was just like doll limbs and bags that were emotional support limbs. With instructions on how to hold them for comfort. Yes. Yeah. Um, a lot of really cool socks. Um, a lot of creepy dolls in the back room that hadn't been, you know, dismembered for yeah. emotional support. And it's literally like not even two minutes away from here. Like the yeah. downtown's super close. So yeah, it's a fun little place to stay. There's also multiple pizza places. Like a Domino's right down the road. So if you don't want to like leave and just want to stay here, like, yeah. And it's actually, you know, like a clean, nice place. You can actually ghost hunt and not have to worry about, you know, breathing in. God knows what in the air, like all these abandoned asylums and prisons we go to. So it's kind of a nice change of pace to have like air conditioning and yeah, <laughs> light, yeah. electricity, electricity, <laughs> working bathrooms. Yeah, that's that's always a plus. Yeah, that's always a plus. But um, yeah, and I'm sure we'll have like an episode two where we like go, we like talk more in depth, like podcast episode, and go over any evidence as well. Um, but yeah, I think I think that about does it. Now we just have to pack up and leave <laughs> <laughs> all right well thank you much for watching bye